and welcome everyone to USTUS, the ultimate sports training show. Uh, today, we have a special guest. I'll be your host for today's show, Bob Lemire. And my special guest today is number one Marine, Joe Lemire. Welcome, Joe. Thank you for having me. We're going to go through into, we're going to get into Joe's mind today. Uh, Joe was an elite athlete in high school and, and in his younger days in a, in a number of sports. And then after, uh, after high school, he decided to uh, join the Marines. And I want to, um, uh, I want to get into what it was like to, to be uh, a Marine and uh, your first days in basic training and everything. And because he was such a good, pretty good athlete, I mean, he was a great athlete. Uh, um, it, I think it was easier in my mind for him to jump into the Marines because of uh, the, 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 the rig, you know, the rigorous training I know that they have. And uh, he's going he's gonna to fill us in on, on all the little details he did. But anyway, l let's, let's get into uh, some of the sports you did, Joe. Um, when you were before the Marines, what, what did you do when you were, uh, say, say high school and even before high school? So in high school, I ran track uh, in the winter and the spring. Towards the end of high school, I ran spring track. Uh, played baseball and football. So played all three of those sports. Uh, so pretty much all throughout high school, I was a three-sport athlete. I didn't really get any breaks. So I was very busy as a it, 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 during my teen years at that time for sure. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, I I know you did pretty well. Uh, used to go watch uh, watch some of the games and some of your, and 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 wrestling. You did wrestling when you were. Uh, yeah. So when I was uh when I was a little younger, it was this was around middle school time. I I wrestled and that that was probably one of my favorite sports. But I had a bad wing, so I had to yeah. stop wrestling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and you're like myself. You you you're a lightweight. Yeah. Uh, but being a lightweight. You move, you get the versatility. Absolutely. And uh, it, boy, it, does that help? Up? Speed wins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And um, so, you know, by going through these sports, I'd right, say four, four, four sports you did, and, uh, and I know you played basketball. and So, right. so you were constantly active. Um, then you decided to go. What, what made you decide, I, I, I got to go in the Marines. I, I like the Marines. It's Honestly, um, just – the idea of being a Marine and what was going on at the time. And there was a, just the current events as far as ISIS and what was really going on in the real world on, uh, out in the Middle East. I, I wanted to do my part. I feel like oh. it was necessary. Right. Um, I felt like I was one of the right people in the position to really do my part and really right. uh, serve right. for the country at the time. So, um, Jesus, uh, and that's that's a big decision, and I know your well, parents probably said no, 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 no. <laughs> absolutely, yeah, especially at the time. It took a lot, of, it took a lot of convincing, absolutely, because I, I originally I wanted to join out of high school, but I I, I kind of I kind of met in the middle with them. I told them, okay, let let me work, let me see what I really want to do. And it, when I was about twenty, twenty one years old, I, it was still in the back of my head, and and that's kind of what I came. Ca ca uh, excuse right. me, that's what I came to terms with. Right, right, yeah. Um, and, and it, no one can say, you know, you want it, you do what you want. <laughs> you of know? course, absolutely. I want, I'm going to be a Marine, and you can say no. Um, <laughs> but uh, so, uh, and, and boy, we could, we could talk for hours and hours because, uh, and, and people are going to enjoy your, your stories on uh, basic training. Oh, what do you call it, boot camp? Believe me, I, am, I have not any knowledge about basic training, boot camp. I don't even know if it's the same thing, right? Right, right. right. And where, where was this now? Where was that? Uh, uh, this is on Paris Island, <laughs> South Carolina, uh, in Beaufort, South Carolina. Right, right, yeah. Right on the coast. Right. Um, and that was an eventful experience, all in all. The, your first day, tell me about your first day. I mean, you had to be nervous. You had, you had to be out of your mind nervous. So, so yes, you, you're – the first day, you get there, and it, – that's when it really hits you. They say it. Once you see those yellow footprints that you place your feet on, yeah. that's when you realize, wow, I'm really here. This place is, this place is real. You yeah. know, it's, it's right. happening right yeah. now. And there's a lot of adrenaline, but it's, it's really a culture shock because that's where, they, that's where they start transforming you right at that moment. Right they, away. Right away. Yeah. Day one. And, and uh, <laughs> I know, you know, like, the thing is, we all watch movies, all right? And uh, so it's always funny. The very first time, your your sergeant, what do you, what do you call it? Your uh, your uh, your 
your platoon sergeant, but your drill instructor. Your drill instructor. Yeah. How he just rips everyone apart. Yeah. And I laugh, and I and then I think of you, and I'm saying, oh my god, what are they doing to my? Yeah, what are they doing to Joe? And um, is it any any crazy story? Because I mean, it's. Y- it's really, it, it's mostly all discipline. I right. swear, that's that's really what it is. They, they try to break you. They they're honestly funny most of the time. That's the biggest thing that people don't realize is the drill instructors. So it's like what are you see. Brilliant. On they're yeah. hilarious. Yeah. They, the, they make yeah. you. They try to make you laugh all day. They try to make each other laugh. Yeah, yeah. To to see how because it's like a it's a point on each other because those guys are the most disciplined in in oh, the yeah. service. They don't laugh. They're very serious, you know, but. Right. They, Right, They're good yeah. at what they do. Oh my God! It, it, and I, I just think of some of the movies, and I, I think I, I'm forgetting the movies right now. I should have wrote it down, but uh, uh, you know, the, when they do say something, and, they, and then they pick on the poor guy that you know the guy who's not in shape, and then you, you at least went in in somewhat shape. And I know you didn't go exactly from high school, but you went working. Where were you working? Um, at the time, I was working uh, construction. I was just working for an environmental construction company. Right. Just as a laborer. Right. You know, just and, and making a paycheck and, and figuring it out. Construction. I know what kind of stru- construction well, it, you were working. It was strenuous work. <laughs> it definitely, yeah. You, you my, might. my job, my daily job was almost a workout in itself. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. I yeah. know what you did. And, so. and, and it's, uh, so you're ready, to, once you get to boot camp, it's like, this might be a rest. <laughs> Yeah, but it wasn't. <laughs> I know it wasn't. I know. <laughs> but it probably wasn't as, even as, I don't know. Because, uh, I mean, w- when you do your construction, you know, you could be up on a roof at 20 degree below zero, and you're in, uh, in too bad. we got to get it done. So, Those are some comparable moments. It's oh, yeah, is, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, so so you're, you're, you're going for a day, mm-hmm. all right? Um, you, you're feeling confident? Um, no, nobody feels confident. Actually, that was probably the lowest point was my first day because I was looking around and I was like, wow, I have no idea where I stand compared to any of these individuals. Right. I have no idea how prepared they are, how right. prepared I think I am or right. how prepared I am. You know, there's just a lot going on. And that's when the first day is when you realize there's a lot that goes into being a Marine. And it's yeah. not all, all about the flashy colors. And, no, 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 yeah. you know, yeah. it's it's. For instance, getting all of our gear, you know, it, everything had to be just so. If if you were if you were making a peep, you couldn't talk to the person next to you. It was just very serious, you know. And that's where you start learning the discipline, right? So now, how, like, say the first week, we were saying, oh, maybe I, I can't get out of here now. Now I'm stuck. Or, or did you just say, all right, I'm gonna go right through it and let's go? Um, no, honestly, I I had a good I had a good mentality when it came to it. I uh, I I kind of. So I knew the situation was tough, but I also knew that's what I signed up for and that's what I wanted, you know? So I, I really took the best out of every situation yeah. and that's kind of what my platoon tend, uh, tended to do and while we were there. A lot of the guys in the platoon right. is we just made the best out of every situation no matter what. And like they say, you look to your left and you look to your right and your brother's right there. So and, and, that's and what And you, you, you made it. friends right off the bat. Oh, I mean, yeah. Oh, you, got a good, you got a good personality. And, and, and you, you're, uh, you, you know what it is? You're polite, you're humble, and you always have been. Um, and so when you, when you, uh, you, you're not a wise guy. No. And, and, and those sergeants are looking for the wise guys. They're yes. looking for the guys who think they're tougher than the sergeants. Am I right? That's exactly <laughs> what it is. They, they look for those guys who, the, who don't have the discipline and aren't willing to listen as right. much or yeah. as easily, and they, yeah. they go for those guys first. <laughs> and and so did you, what are you, going on a bus? You're on a bus with a bunch of guys, and you're all going? Is that how that works? So or? you're on a – so, yes, you get picked up at an airport about two hours away. Right. Uh, yeah, hour to two hours, and you're just you're just on the bus ride, and everything's normal. They don't treat you any different. Hi, you're still you a doing? civilian. <laughs> yeah, everything's normal. Every yeah. it was almost like a party. Like people were excited to go yeah, there, yeah, and I was yeah, just yeah. like, "Do you guys know where we're going? <laughs> this is I don't know." Oh my but God. um, yeah, we get there, and like I said, you step off the bus, and those were the literal yellow footprints that the, the infamous footprints that everyone knows about that right. you're standing on, and. Uh, that's where you meet your processing instructors, basically, to get you all your uh, uniforms, and they basically get you ready for your drill instructors that you meet right. at the end of that week, right? Right. And uh, basically, you get out of that bus, you see the steps, and then you see the door, which is the entrance, really, to, yeah. to the island and where they start processing you. And that's really where it all begins, and right. it goes from there. First couple of days, you don't get much sleep because, like I said, you're getting all your gear, you're getting all your uniforms, everything, 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 everything. 
do you have guys who just say, hey, I don't want to, Sajan, I don't want to do this. All the time. <laughs> oh, really? And what do they do? They just, they process them. They, and they just say, you're here, just, you, it's too late. No, they, you have an option to, to quit. You have an option to quit at any time. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah, that's what they don't tell you. You have an option to quit, but. And, and how do you quit? What are you, you going to go up and down and say, yeah, I'm the same for me? You, yeah, pretty much. You just got to do it. You wow. Just have and so to quit. You can't. Did, were there many? Um, there, there. I mean, there wasn't too many. There were a lot of people who got dropped from my platoon. They, like they didn't make it. They tell you to what leave? Go back. Um, no, they would just send you back a week. So, so oh, the right. process is a thirteen week long process, right. right? I think it's even longer now, like seventeen, yeah. and. So if, if you, like, mess up or, like, say if you mess up at the firing range, anything where they think that, okay, you need to go through training again so this doesn't happen again, they push you back so you're there for a longer period of time. Some people go through boot camp for six months. <laughs> <laughs> wow, see, I never, heard, I never knew that. And I know a lot of people never heard that. Wow. No, no. I thought once you were there, too bad. And, it, you know, it's not like, I want to leave. No, you ain't leaving. Oh, you go away well. Uh, you know. It's, no, some guys get hurt and... Some guys just aren't uh, proving fit yet. Like, th there's a lot of people when you get there that are so out of shape and aren't ready. There's no way you 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 don't get to even start the training process until they consider you, you know, in okay. shape to start training. You were you were in pretty good shape at that point. I, I was in good enough. I, I, enough I didn't think I was, but I guess I you, was considerably yeah. in pretty yeah. decent shape for the time. Yeah. So. Probably better than you even thought. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, because there's no body fat on you. There hasn't been body I fat. I was on very, you. <laughs> yeah, no, I was. You know, not to say, fit. yeah, but, uh, and I know. Very so, fortunate. <laughs> what are they? Just they right from the day one. Uh, well, before that, did they? Uh, what did the sergeant have to say with you? If you don't mind me saying anything funny, uh, to you when he said. Uh, so, <laughs> basically, before I even saw my normal instructors, there was. This was like the first rude awakening I got. Um, I was talking to the the instructor normally, like I like I would like I would talk yeah, yeah. to you, yeah. and he just couldn't believe it. He just looked at me like what, and he grabbed my ear and pulled it down, and I was like, wait a minute, wow. wait a minute, I'm here right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what do you think you're doing? And it was it was uh, a, yeah. you, that was the wake up call though. Yeah. Ever, ever since then, it no was, more talking. Yeah, no, it was, what, that's when I, no more talking. You know, anyway. Straightened right up. Wow, that's funny. Uh, did, did you? Was he a drill sergeant? This no, no, he, he was another. He was just a processing sergeant. It's wow. so you have your processing sergeants that basically yeah. gather all the troops, get them ready for the main uh, drill instructors that have them that you actually go through the okay. whole cycle with. They're yeah. like your teachers. You have your uh, your senior, which yeah. is like the boss of them all, Then you have your heavy, which is the guy that teaches you everything, right. and then you got your. They don't call it the same now, but they're your kill hats. They're basically the crazy ones who really get you going. You know what I'm saying? They make sure things are in line, et cetera, et cetera. Kill hats. Yes, they call them <laughs> the kill hats. They're the wild ones. They're the <laughs> drill instructors you think of. Yeah. So. Did, did you get along with everyone, all of them? Yeah, I, they they knew. I don't know what it was. They, I, I had a different experience when I was at boot camp They um, or recruit training. They were really... They kind of enforced the leadership role on me, so it was almost like they looked at me as like a mini drill instructor. I never uh, really got yelled at a lot, but when the platoon was acting really bad, they made an example of me in front of the platoon. No, <laughs> that, that's what we were going to get into, and, and why. why? Why why you? I mean, how much? Well, 130 pounds, 135 pounds at the time when you went in? Right. 140? Um, 150? Uh, no, I was only 130 pounds right. walking through so those doors. So you had to be one of the smallest guys in the in I the was. Platoon. All right. So yeah. why would you, wh 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 what did they see? They must have saw They that. saw that I was in shape. All right. And they have a thing with loudness, with being loud. And I was one of the loud guys and very being very vocal. and. Really? Yeah, insistent on what had to be done. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what they look for. That's that's just what you think of. So that you're helping right, you know? them out with the exactly. It's peer, so they they consider the position the guide of the platoon, right? And so that was right off the bat. That was day one. Get out. That was day one of, of how many guys? Um, so we started with seventy-two, and so then we ended with about fifty. All right. So seventy-two guys right off the bat, and they they grabbed you. In, in the only reason why they grabbed, well, it was because of those, those print, the, what I told you, but the biggest thing was I was the most physically fit in right. 
Okay. Like, at the beginning. Like, I had the best run at the beginning. No one so. could well, track. You had the track. Yeah, I ran you, track. And then you played a football, uh, a lot of football, and you played a lot of baseball, and you did some wrestling. Uh, and then you were construction. You never had a chance not to get out of shape, even though no you weren't kidding. as good in shape as in the football days. Well, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it, if you don't keep that, uh, but they saw it. They're saying, oh, wow. Now, did, did you play any football um, for the Marines, or did they play? Uh, um, I had interest in that, actually, yeah. but it, it it wasn't more so uh, for the job that I was doing. Right. Um, I was in the infantry, as you knew, right, so... Yeah. If you're in the infantry, like that's what you did. That's that's what the Marine Corps is based around. Everyone, okay. every job in the Marine Corps is based around the infantry. Okay. The infantry. Right. Yep. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. So. Yeah. And uh, all right. So uh, tell me, tell me how you, because I know. How much did you gain while you were there? You actually gained weight. Okay. So like I said, I okay. The exact weight I was when I went into boot camp was 134 pounds, right. and I. But all graduated. muscle, kind of all muscle and in, in shape. No, I really, I was just in running shape at the time. I but wasn't no really fat, that no strong. body fat. Oh yeah, no, no body fat. <laughs> Not at all, yeah. And when I got out of there, I gained 21 pounds. All muscle. Yep. All muscle, because I've seen pictures of Yeah, that. it was all, uh, yeah. it and, worked uh, out. <laughs> so, so, like say, day one or week one, yeah, I know, and, and, and this is what I like to do on the show, is, uh, is, is compare what, what you did uh, say in any kind of sports to as you grow up and you're, and you're older, how that routine that you're so used to getting into a routine that's going to help you with your body, all right? And that you had a routine with all your sports. You had to have the routine or you weren't going to play. Now you're in the Marines and you're already ready for that routine. Here, Absolutely. Let's do it. And it's the competitive aspect. That's right. that's what it is. And when it comes down to it, you every need day. every day. Right. You need discipline to be competitive. If you're not applying yourself and you if you're not working as hard as you possibly can to be better than that next guy cuz someone's always going to be working harder right. than you right. to take your position, you know? Cuz you had the a position that could be taken. Exactly. Exactly. And they were trained. These boys are trained. Exactly. Oh, they all. Uh, Everyone. Yeah. There were all, most of the platoon was for me being the leader. Yeah. That's what they wanted. Right. There were points and times where it was kind of teased the platoon that I got the position taken away, and things were not good those days, that I wasn't. You know what I mean? So, so the position was a te like a leader, team leader. It, right. It's the leader of the platoon. Yes. Right. Leader of the platoon. There's there's the leader of the platoon, and then there's the three squad leaders. Right. Four so, squad leaders. I apologize. So you're probably you're probably the the lightest kid on the whole squad. So, and I was a, probably in the bottom fifteen percentile for okay. size. And now, you got to keep these guys in 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 step, or you're going to get in trouble. Yes. What 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 benefits did they give you out of for being that uh, to have that position? I mean, what, what do you get? Do you get anything special? Or? As far as far as Treatment like day already. to day, yeah, or, yeah. okay. So yeah. day to day, um, I was, I didn't get messed with as much as them. Like I wasn't, I was always a target, right? Because I was the leader of the platoon. Right. Like so, you couldn't screw up, right? So I couldn't screw up exactly. So I almost had to be. Pr I had to know everything. I had to just do everything right. But it gave me the ability to say when we went to the chow hall to eat every meal, I was a. Uh, I had the authority to allow my to platoon uh, longevity. Um, excuse me. I, I I had the choice to basically decide how long they can eat. So if the platoon was doing well, go ahead, eat, guys. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But if it was a rough day, like that's when they kind of knew, hey, this isn't good. They're mad at us. We need to get it together. We need to eat okay. and get out of here. You so know. So you were there to make sure that your platoon didn't get yelled at or. Disciplined. Yes, I was. Ba it's in the title. I was literally just guiding them throughout the process. And, and no one taught you anything. You just figure it out yourself, right? In a I way. I had to learn as they were learning, but I had to figure it out quicker than them. The guide is a very. Oh, yeah. There's only six of them in the whole company, so you had to kind of yeah, just yeah. you had to figure it out before everyone. Wow, and and now uh, animosity. Any any people were really like your peers or your your your, your buddies upset with you that. Uh, you know, because at you had times, but that it was natural. You know, we were, you got to think we were all together for 13 weeks, 24 seven. So there, there yeah, were good. highs, there's lows, yeah. you know, yeah. and 
like I said, you look to your left and you look to your right, and those are your brothers. But it, it, and that was and it's the closest. It's it's the same exact thing with football. There you go. And baseball. Yeah, there you go. You're That's, only gonna get as far as you guys bring each other. Right. It's the same thing. It, it, it got to be a team. If you're not a team and you're gonna be a, uh, you know, lone wolf, uh, the team's not gonna succeed. Yeah, and it was the same thing with track and field too. Right. With my relay teams, every time if if we weren't all executing handoffs perfectly. Yeah. Oh yeah. We were gonna lose seconds, right. split seconds, right. Right. Yeah. and that was and that was qualifying time. That that was that was winning times, you know. So so you you you're used to your routine. Just give me a quick routine of uh, of, and I know it's probably the same thing every morning. You get up at a certain time, uh, blah 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 blah, and uh, what, what kind of routine did they make? So you the day to day basis is yeah. that we yeah. okay. So a typical day at boot camp was we'll say first phase. So first phase is the physically is the physical phase where they basically get you into shape. So yeah, you're yeah. working out every day on, during phase one. How many how many hours a day you think? Um, in total, probably three hours every day. In total, every day. Hard workout. Oh yeah, they were they <laughs> whew, they were tough. Yeah. They were like they're mostly body workouts, right. but they get you into shape. Yeah. To where you can run, you can do anything. You, you can, can yeah. really do anything. You can yeah. jump everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So basically, wake up call was at six a.m. No, I I apologize. Wake up calls at four a.m. in boot camp, <laughs> so four a.m. I'm thinking I was thinking the the regular, my unit. That right, was yeah. that was when we had to be. Do at they work blow the bugle 6 like they, like you see a like that? that um, no, 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 no. That's no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, okay. But uh, but uh, yeah, four a.m. was wake up call. We'd be up at four a.m. We would all uh get ourselves dressed, uh showered. Hygiene. Basically, we would get all our hygiene done within the first 30 minutes. We would be at the chow hall by quarter of five o'clock, so 4:45 a.m. We would be there, 0:40, 0:45 in military terms. Yeah, yeah. And we would be in and out of the chow hall by 5:05 to 5:10 a.m. Typically. From there, we would go back to the uh, the barracks room and we would instant or we'd call it the squad bay and then we would instantly start getting ready we would get in our PT uniform which was green short shorts a green t-shirt and <laughs> there was this belt that we that we would wear that would light in the dark that was the funniest thing ever but yeah, yeah. they're called glow belts yeah we would wear those and we would just PT and it was basically mostly just circuits so like do you know what a shamrock is so basically a shamrock is a suicide, right? So you'll do you'll do 10 push-ups. You'll run. There'll be an ex another exercise like oh, okay. 10 burpees right. yeah, and yeah. then you'll run back. Okay, and you just go do boom, the, boom, do boom, the push-ups boom. again. Do the <laughs> yeah. you do the uh which am call it? You do the burpees again and then you run another 10 and it's just it's just continuous. And it's as hard as that is for you I can imagine a big, overweight guy oh, yeah. coming in, it, getting tied on one burpee. I've seen yeah. guys go in there. Get sick and... Just not in shape. And then they lo uh, they go out, it. and it's like they it. could run three miles in 22 minutes. Wow. And, and, and is the sergeant, like, always on them? Let's get going. And always, oh, yeah. Those do are you the, have to do that? Did you have to So what they up? would do is they would pair the best guys with the, the worst guys. <laughs> So the worst, the best yeah. guys were in charge of the worst, the worst and uh, and it worked out. It, yeah. Oh no, they worked. know what they're doing. They know. What they're yeah. They're brainwashing. Scheme you works. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> yeah, and they're gonna works. make they're gonna make you do the work for them. Exactly. And if it doesn't get done, it's your it's fault. It's on you. <laughs> I yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. It's like marriage. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's leadership. And, so, um, oh, I you know I could talk to you for hours and hours on this because I want to get into because. You know, the Marines in the United States are the ultimate. When you say Marine, the best, yeah, the best. And and when you say Marine, they are the toughest and the, 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 the you know and, and and they're all all the all the service. And I don't want to say anything, but for some reason, Marine. Everyone you know, thinks of a Marine, right? A Marine, yeah. Of um, and and to to know exactly what they do to make you the Marine by getting you in shape and in your mind too. I, and there's so many questions I could ask you. And we're going to do another show with this. because, But uh, the food, they, they, they make sure that you ate the right food. That's a big thing. Oh, yeah. Well, so 
apparently before I joined, it was not like that either. Like, it was just a scarfing mechanism where they would just mow their food down. Five minutes and that's all yeah, they yeah. had. But, but nutrition, now, was it nutrition? Nutrition is huge. Yeah, yeah. They taught you how to hydrate properly. They yeah. taught you... They taught you how to hyd- hydrate more efficiently than you normally would with, yeah. like, without water. Chocolate milk hydrates you. I never knew that. Yeah, yeah. Well, until I went to and give you a little boost. Mm-hmm. Chocolate yeah. milk is one of the best things. Well, to really, that's good to see. What I'm saying. This is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. People out there, if they can just get a little, especially athletes, mm-hmm. if they could hear what a marine had to do. All right, and this is what we're gonna do. A marine had to do to get where he was to be the elite. They they take this and they go into their sports. You know, no chocolate milk. Everyone loves chocolate milk. Absolutely. You know? And they say the breakfast is the most important part of your you day. Go. That's your baseline energy right there. That's where now, you get what, what, all your energy. What would a breakfast day. be? What would be a the breakfast? You had your choice or breakfast? did they say this is what you eat? You, yeah, you actually had a decent choice. So yeah. we would all mo- pretty much get eggs. Yeah. There was pancakes, pancakes, French toast. Okay. Uh, bacon. Yeah. If you were in shape. <laughs> not bacon. <laughs> Yeah. No bacon for you. <laughs> so what, what if, what if uh, you know, a heavy guy says, uh, yeah, give me a half a pound of bacon, what they say? Uh, they, <laughs> their drill instructor would be behind them <laughs> saying, no, he cannot have this. How about some chocolate So it was very structured. I mean, oh, I would hope the, so. The meals, w- the meals were solid. Um, yeah. We always had water, Gatorade. Oh, that was always accessible Gatorade, in the yeah, chat. Yeah. We really, we really... That was probably one of the best times I ate in the military. Oh, yeah. Was at boot camp. It was yeah. it was awesome. Well, if they didn't, um, they'd run you ragged, and you wouldn't have. The oh yeah, you're you're you expending them. energy. And, all, that breakfast? and you would be hungry for every yeah. Oh yeah. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you're dinner. getting a full square. You're getting wow. you're hitting every. And you hitting did, every, you every must have, Well, that's where you gained your weight and muscle. Absolutely. Wow, it's a genius. Mm-hmm. They did they give you what about supplements and, and, and vitamins or anything? Did they push any of that or? Um, no, not so not, much. No, no, huh? Not so much. I'm surprised. No. Yeah, mean, you would think, but it's more so they're, they're still trying to get you in the mindset of, the, you know, the survival mindset. All right, so yeah, you ain't going to have your little vitamins. Right, right you're, you're not going to be able to just have a protein shake like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah you know. But, I mean, just, just so that you can, uh, just so you can, you can keep that. Well, they're giving you good food. Was it good? Your food, was, you're getting your vitamins out of the food. And was it good eat. to eat? Was it tasty? Or was it was it? definitely, it was good. Really? It was good. Oh, so, yeah. so they didn't just have slop thrown at you? No, like, it was Like nothing, it almost looks it, like. It yeah. was nothing like that. Yeah, it was actually, I was, I was shocked with the food that they had there. See, a guy like you, you could eat whatever you wanted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that right. must have been nice. It, yeah, and another thing, tough, like yeah. the, the smaller guys would actually have double portions. Did you? Um, I could if I wanted to. Right. But I was I always had a huge tray. My drill instructor would actually look at me like, "Are you all right?" And I would just eat it all. <laughs> I ate a lot during boot camp. Yeah, well, it's all energy. That's right, pure energy, and and that's why uh, you excelled in all your sports, and you excelled when you were there. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, did you now injuries? Did, did you have any injuries where? And, and how does that work when say say you you twist an ankle? You because you're gonna hurt yourself. Oh, I did. Yeah, everyone does, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, you you cannot help of the crazy stuff you're doing so there was vge which is like a bug that goes around that everyone gets uh, at boot camp I don't, the water? I don't know yeah. no one no one no knows, one knows. It's just it's just it's <laughs> yeah. vge we all get it and what's vge that stand w- for i any, don't any you don't want to know no i don't want to know <laughs> either way uh we all <laughs> yeah. got it yeah um and everyone gets sick from it like i said and it's pretty bad and there's this day called initial drill where basically you all we you march right and you get graded on your marching as a platoon and the night before we had initial drill yeah i caught vge well half of the platoon was already out we were down to 25 guys for this performance oh wow wow yeah yeah (laughs) and the next morning my drill instructor sees me puking in the toilet he goes guide i need you today (laughs) did you go oh i went i did Uh, it i did it i did it See that you right get through there. it. You get through it. No, you know, you just right push there. through it. That's right there. Well, somebody else wouldn't. Yeah. They're saying, "All right, Joe's, Joe's doing it. He's doing <laughs> it for us, right? You're taking care of." Wasn't my best performance, but we made it through. <laughs> well, a lot of a lot of guys probably stayed in bed. But said, uh, I can't do it. Mm-hmm. I can't do it, Satch. You know. Yeah. And uh, so so, any broken bones or I, twisted? I rolled my ankle so bad. Yeah, I can imagine. Even with the boots they have. In the oh, yeah. I, I just, because ro- there's a lot of sidewalks and there's a lot of obstacles you get to step over uh, yeah. sometimes yeah. and walking over people sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But I just, out of random, just rolled my ankle walking down a sidewalk. 
because I was moving quickly. And it blew up. And I thought it broke it. I yeah. literally thought I broke it, and it was swollen like yeah, yeah. an egg. Yeah, yeah. And, and so what are they? What happens then? Now, say a week of you with a bad injury, right? They so that's where you have the option to get pushed back a week, or you could just tough it out. What'd you do? I just I was not gonna stay there any longer <laughs> than I had to, so I just pushed it. You did. <laughs> this and I got that from football. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. Just pushing through injuries, man. It, Come on, Joe. That's you part of the it. game. Yeah, it's yeah. Part of the game. You just yeah. gotta do it. The problem is with something like that, and I know you you know, you say that you, you had a reason. You can injure it more. Absolutely. And you say you got a, bro- a break, a broken bone, and you say oh, I'm gonna work through it. You, know, you can't work through it. You know, uh, boy, that's. That's just funny, and, and as you say, it's it it brings you back to your football, your baseball, your rest. You play injured, absolutely. You're, you're, you're fight injured. That's that's part of the game. Yep. And if and I you know I always told my students, uh, where you been? Uh, well, uh, I hurt myself. I don't feel. Uh, I'm waiting to get better. If you wait to get better, you'll never you'll never train no. because you're never going to be 100. percent And if you're no. lucky, you're going to be 70. percent there's always something in your body. There's something that you can something's say. Something's gonna hurt. Yeah, I'll wait till get, and you're never gonna get better. Nope. So you gotta fight. You have for to it. work on it for it to get better. There you go. There you go. And it will get better if you keep going. Yes. You're, you're moving your blood. You're mo- Years ago it was rest, rest, rest. Now it's keep moving. Keep moving. Right the after, white blood cells need to work. Right after, a, right after any operation, hip exactly. operation, they yep. want you walking. Ten minutes later, get up there. Get, yep. Years ago, you were lay in bed for a, a month, and nope. that's the worst thing. Atrophy sets in in 48 hours, mm-hmm. they say. 48 hours. Wow. wow. And all right, so, um, uh, so things are going, things are going well uh, in, 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 in basic training. Uh, and, and what's the title that you had? Was it the same title all through, or did you get another title as you started going? I, I know things were happening and you were... So when you go to boot camp, you're considered a recruit. When right. you become a Marine, you have your, you gain your rank. Right. So the first rank in the Marines is a private. Right. Your second rank is a private first class. Right. Um, because I was the guide, I was meritoriously promoted to private first class. Right off the bat. Right. Yes, right off the bat. Yes. So from day one, you were the, uh, the guide? Yes. Right through 13 weeks? To the last, I was the only, they called me, at the end of the training segment, they called me the senior guide because I was the only one who, I was the only guide that was the, the day one guide. Because. In the whole company. The other ones, what happened, got dropped out? They or would they? get dropped, they'd get, get in fired, they yeah. just get dropped back to a wow. different week. Yeah, it's just, and, and there's the, a lot that goes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I remember going to your summer ceremony, um. I forget what, what do you call it the graduation the boot camp so, graduation, boot camp graduation. Yeah. Boot graduation and and the whole family got to uh, sit with the generals or whatever the we base, yeah yeah we had special treatment because of you yeah and then I remember talking with some general and you could tell this guy was a general <laughs> and he just praised you up and down and he was going up and down and I went wow for a general you know to 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 in, to to say what he did and he was saying I won't go to get too involved with that but. Um, he was really happy with what, and you, you get to carry the flag, which what, what was the, um, the flag. So you get a flag that has a number on it that represents your platoon. Right. So for instance, my platoon was 2029. Right. Wherever we went, everyone knew, okay, that's platoon 2029, right? Because you, because you carry the flag. Yes. Yes. Right. So, so it, right. And because I carry the flag that represents, okay, that's the guide of platoon you. 2029. Okay. And, uh, I remember seeing pictures of the, the very last night, the very last day. What, what do they call that? Uh, you had to go through. Oh, the crucible? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The crucible. I remember seeing the picture, and I said, he's, he's almost dead. <laughs> yeah. You, your eyes were. I there mean, was a little sleep, yeah. and uh, we were very dirty and just what are they, wet. You, and, and so that's the last hurrah. Is that what? The yeah, that's where you prove that you you can. You can do You're it. a marine. Yes. And, and so does it last a whole day, a night, two days? Uh, it's three days. It's three days long. They don't let you sleep for three days, do they? Very no, little. you you get sleep. You get yeah. sleep. But where are you but sleeping? But it's not a lot. Are you sleeping in the barracks? Or are you sleeping out in the uh, fields? Or what? Are you uh, you're sleeping in like an old hut, basically. Because yeah. I mean, I, I like a barn, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, and it's the last three days. Ah, uh, yeah, three oh. days. 
Three days, yeah. Yeah. And so, um, uh, so you graduate, and 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 they get so it's private first class. They get you graduate at that. And so, wh- where'd you go right from there? What was so from there? They let me go home for thirteen days. Yeah. Got to see family. Got to see everyone because you don't get to use your phone, etc. After those thirteen days, you go to your school. So my school was the School of Infantry in the Infantry Training Battalion. So uh, that's basically where I learned how to be a rifleman because being a weapons marine or a weapons infantry marine, I you have to learn both. You you're right. gonna learn your you're gonna learn your rifleman skills and then you're gonna learn how to be a machine gunner on top of that. Right, right. Yeah. That was that was really the yeah. hardest Really? Yeah, that was much harder than boot camp for sure. You got it really. I, I would so at boot camp, b- boot camp, it's very structured. Like you get right, your three yeah. meals a day. Right, yeah. You get your you get your you get your eight hours of sleep. They're telling you what to do. You have to do exactly. What right, yeah. And that's really what it is. Right. As you go on in the Marine Corps, is they start, you they start holding your hand less. They yeah. expect you to have it figured out, and you make decisions on your own. And during school, it was tough because. If you didn't pass your tests, you 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 weren't uh, making it through. You were getting dropped back to the next, and it wasn't a week drop back; it was a month drop back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So th- that was a tough school because there's a lot of information. There's a lot of ways you got to learn how to be a machine gunner. You're gonna learn all the weapon systems, how to fix them, etc. How'd you do? I did well. I passed. I did. I did well. <laughs> That's in all, all that matters. Well. I was actually the guide for that school too. Ah, uh, Jesus! There yeah. you go, brother. Uh, and it, so what, what made you the guide? What did they do? How, how did that work? I think they only made me the guide because I was a guide at boot camp. That didn't ne- necessarily matter so much there. That was, my machine gun uh, class was very impressive. Right. Like we had one of the best of the best machine gun classes right, for sure. Right. And so, a lot right, of studs. so so you graduated that? Is that is a graduation on that? Or? Oh yeah, there's a big graduation. All right. For and that. So what what, you, what what happened after that? Where'd you go? After that, I went straight to my unit, which was First Battalion, Six Marines. And, and where is that? Um, that is in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, Jacksonville, North Carolina, yeah. Okay. So, and um, that was an interesting time. Cause you're, that's still, where you're, you're still a private first class. Private first class, yeah. yeah. Um, you, have to, you have to be a private first class for a whole year before you can pick up Lance Corporal. So, yeah, we were private first class, and basically... They break, they bust you to Camp Lejeune, which is only about thirty minutes away, and that's where you meet basically your brothers. That's where you meet your real brothers, right. the machine gunners. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. That's where I met all the guys I train with every day. Yeah, I work out with. I I learn more advanced tactics on how to be a machine gunner, and just right. basically that's where you learn to perfect your craft. Are you still and work out? And are you still in your routine of working out every day? Yes. They force you, or is that on your own? I'm sorry. Do they force you? Is it like in boot camp, or you, all right, I'll, I'll go. No. Uh, so in the infantry, you work out every morning. That it's the, the, with the, the whole crew. Yes, it's 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 not like a rule, but it's it's you should be it's there. the unspoken rule. Okay. Like every the whole company will be there. Work out. Hey, to keep to report in. Yeah. And and everyone go, branches off the PT guys, once everyone's reported in. Any guys that just in. don't want to do it and just say, yeah, I'm not working out. Um, no. <laughs> that doesn't happen. Peer pressure is even worse than a, yeah. a drill sergeant, I would imagine. Oh, it. yeah. Uh, boy, that's wild. Proficiency scores, and that all takes effect, you know. If you're yeah. not there, you're gonna, you're not going to get they're promoted. Watching. You're not and they're watching. Their job course. is to watch every movie. Yeah, absolutely. And so, what, so you're, you were a machine gunner, is that what you're saying? Yes. What was your job? Because I, I, I know, I, whenever I see that, I see two or three guys around the gun. So, the main systems we employed was the... Uh, the M2A1. So so we learned the M2A1 50 cal machine gun, which okay. is basically the one that you're sitting down and you're holding it and you're watching where the bullets shoot. Right, it's a, it. yeah, it's a big gun. Yeah, it's a big gun. Shoots a big 50, uh, and, 50 and the cal bullets, projectile. What are they making? A, 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 a like a, a light? Is it like a light? Yes, the tracer rounds. Uh, they'll <clears throat> the tracer rounds will show typically every five rounds. So you can so you can actually see where you're shooting. It's definitely it's it's visible for sure. Wow, wow. Um, so we would main that gun. We would main the M240 Bravo, 
in the M249 saw. My team specifically, we main the uh, M240 Bravo, which is a medium machine gun. Right. That gun's max effective range is uh, 1,800 meters, which is far. And it's over a mile. And and so what do you got a scope? You got a you, you got a uh, and and. Yeah, actually, right now you're working for L3 Harris, yeah. which which it's it's kind of crazy. Yeah, but you it, actually, it all worked out. Yeah. It all worked out. You, you, you're you're working on in the environmental lab. You're in the environmental lab. Um, you're actually working on stuff that you used when you were in the Marines, right? Yes, and I had no idea it was right in my hometown. Came right from my hometown. Imagine that. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Wild. That was one of the biggest surprises when I went to look for work when I got out. Yeah, sure. It's, what uh, five miles, four miles from your house? Maybe. Yeah, literally. Yeah. And um, and now and and now, can you see the advancements just in a couple of years? Oh, oh it, we what well, what I had when I was at my unit, it's sure. not even close to what. And what are they doing all the old have. stuff because it is expensive. Oh, they're still selling it. The old stuff that oh, you yeah. even use because you still can use so it. good. It's still so right. good. Yeah. The, all the gear, so it's just Do, advanced. When you say they sell, what do they sell to another country that might want to buy some used stuff? Other yeah, other countries, allies specifically. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But our guys are gonna get the best. Yeah, our guys will always get the best. Yeah, yeah. Well, what else? I mean, you <laughs> break. Uh, got some good stuff coming. Yeah, and and so you're in the environmental lab, uh, and and anything. Well, I don't know if we can even talk about what you work on, can we? It's uh, kind of what the stuff you, you work can, on. You could find it in the internet. Yeah, but but it's more or less uh, night vision. Night yeah. vision that's coming with uh, augmented reality uh, compasses visual compasses right, right, that's yeah. part of the augmented reality and basically you will be able to fire your weapon with full concealment which is just insane what now you said full concealment like i'm supposed to know what you're so talking basically about. <laughs> if you're hiding behind a wall right you could have your rifle up on the wall mounted around the corner around the corner and you can see and you can see and shoot well yes accurately wow. It'll pick up a thermal uh, thermal reading. Yeah, yeah. And so I as you're looking through this scope, it points. You, you can tell you're going to hit this target. There's no, there's no chance of not hitting this target. Yes, as long as everything is zeroed in properly, absolutely. Right. That'll be 100% right. efficient. And you're, you're doing the environmental and all that and yep. on trying to make sure that that... Testing uh, the temperatures that these units should be uh, right. capable of operating in, yes. Right. Temperatures, right. altitudes, et cetera. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. And, and, and it's not just the United States. Uh, other countries are buying uh, your, your product, yep, I, I would yep. imagine. Yep. Uh, and um, I just saw the other day that uh, Congress passed, uh, I think it was Congress, right? Uh, they passed the bill, billions and billions of dollars for the, um, for the military. Mm -hmm. That's good for uh, the company. <laughs> it's good for <laughs> People business. get paid now, you know? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Well, and, and, and see, and that's, that's why, you know, we went from we we went from your even before high school your sports. Did you take taekwondo? You did some taekwondo. Yes, when I was younger. Yeah, just a little. Yeah. So taekwondo sports and then got into sports and and then we got into the marine, that regiment, all right. And that's and and now, you're, it, you're still regiment with your work. You got to get up. You got to eat. You got to go to work. And uh, you're doing well there. You're happy yeah, there. Totally. And um and um, you know. Uh, it it all it all ties in as you get older, for the, for the routines that you used to you used to have. Everyone everybody should be playing sports when they're younger. It's just, and you know, not everyone's ready for sports. No, but it's to a um, maybe a musical instrument, maybe uh, if they want to be a writer, if they want to be uh, a, you know a doctor, mm -hmm. right? You have to have the routine. It's a it's a great structured baseline to start with, no right. matter no right. matter what right. sports. You're in building sports, camaraderie. You're you're becoming socialized. And there's a, and there's it's a good million. for you. Exercise is good for you. It's just Course. there's nothing negative about it. And 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 training is a sport in itself. Whether you're if you're lifting weights, that's considered a kind of a sport. Yeah, yeah. Oh you're, yeah. You're, you know, the weightlifters and course. stuff. But um, just to 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 keep your body in shape. When your body's in shape. Uh, and you're happy, you're going to eat right. You're going to eat right. You're going to develop right. Uh, everything's everything's going to work together. So whether you want to be um, a musician or you want to be a doctor, right, your whole body's working together. Yes. You're not just, that's not all you're doing, and, and now you're not eating right. You're not training. Your right. body's atrophy setting in. 
Yeah, everything has to work together or you fall apart. You could be the smartest person in the world, but if you don't have that, that regimen and that, you know, uh, it will take its, it'll take, it'll have a negative effect. Right. Absolutely. And, and, and the thing is, uh, you know, your football and your, your baseball and, and your wrestling or whatever, um, they toughened you up then. You were tough, right? You were ready for the Marines. I can't see someone who never did sports or never trained or never lifted a weight to jump into the Marines. I can't see how that's possible. And, and it probably has, is. Oh, it's, but it, I don't it see. It happens. And it's, it's the, the, har- wake- the harsh reality of it is it's just a rude awakening for some it's individuals. Gotta be. It's just the a pain. life change. The pain. People that have never <laughs> felt like, for instance, people who have never run a mile in their life. Right. Like you're going to have to learn to run three of them. Yeah. And, and you run the mile, you're done. And say you did it in six minutes, five minutes, whatever you did. And they're 15 minutes still trying to get to that mile because they can barely. Now, the next day, you're ready to do it again. The next day, they can't walk. Nope. And, and what does the drill sergeant say it's to you? It's just a setback. They got to get through it, you know? Does the drill sergeant say, you're doing it? I can't, sergeant. I can't walk. And that's the, and that's the whole build-up process. That's what makes the Marine a Marine is you're taking someone who's not physically fit or capable of forming right. to that level, and you're building them up to that level. I seen I seen a picture of you, um, and I don't know what you call them—the the sticks with the, the big gloves on them. Or oh yeah! And you did pretty well with that, from yeah. what I understand. And I, I'm I'm thinking, you going against a six foot three guy uh, who outweighs you a hundred pounds? How could you? How, how do you? Uh, so how do you that beat? was actually one logical thing they did was they made you go against guys your body weight, which oh really? <laughs> very similar to fighting. Yeah, so they you didn't, didn't let guys yeah. go against each other who they, were one Sasquatch yeah. and some little <laughs> minion. So <laughs> what was the heaviest you ever went to? And what do you call those things? Um, gosh, was it, it just sticks with? I forget what they call them now. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. They were they were some sort of baton that they called them. I forget the but exact with a, name, but it looked like a boxing glove. So it was it. literally yeah, it was literally just like an oversized boxing glove at the, like the end of of like a lacrosse stick. Right. And and you were just swinging at each other with it. Right. And did they show you different moves and how to do it, or, or is it like here free for all? Yeah, that was a, that was basic McMap. That that so Marine Corps mixed martial arts was basically. Like, the beginning stages of that time was okay. more so to teach you how to get beat up. Right. So well, how, to take, how to take a hit. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And uh, so how would you do with those? Yeah, I, I know you did pretty well from what I understand. I was good. Yeah. I was good. Fast. You were fast. Yeah. I, well, I also, I, because of wrestling, I knew how to uh, throw my weight around. Like, I didn't have much body weight, right. but I, know how to, I, I knew how to use it. <laughs> well, excuse me. Uh, you, you, you could be strong as an ox. Uh, but if you don't know how to go with the punch or go with the flow, you don't know how to use your hips, etc. Right, right. You're, you're going to take the hit. You're going to take it hard. Mm-hmm. And you could be the lightest guy and the smaller guy, and this big guy hits you, but you flow with it, and you're not going to get hurt. Right, look at Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know, best of the best. <clears throat> you you see it all the time, and um, uh, what it is, knowledge, mm-hmm. uh, old sports that you've done. Uh, you go with the flow. You don't, you, you know, everyone thinks you have to be always strong and tough, and that's not how it is. You've got to, you've got to know different little um, aspects of you know, the counters. You, it's really all science. You know more than anyone. It's a science. It's really I, a science. And the thing is, you can't get there without training all the time. Right. A regiment. So, uh, you know, my, my thing is to these young guys out there, uh, sports, if you really want to be good at anything, you have to train daily it has to no. be a passion it's not just going to come naturally oh, it's not going and, and oh i've a natural but no one has natural ability because uh if, if you think you do and you're not going to train you're going to end up with a guy who's training who has natural ability who's working harder than right you, who who's, that's right uh, mike tyson said it great once uh they said mike why do you get up at two in the morning and uh, and run three miles why do you get up that early and you know wait mike talk i won't i won't imitate him but he, i love him i love him so much he'd say yeah uh, because the other guy ain't doing it and that means i'm gonna kill him <laughs> and now you know because he's not because if that ain't guy ain't up at two in the morning hating his life principle uh when i'm in the ring with him you better know that i i've been up at i two worked years. harder than you. i worked harder than you mm-hmm. and uh and that's 
Digi Marine. That right there will will right. take you further than that next thing. Right, right, and uh, that that's why. And and you know you you have um, now. What would the difference between like uh, what if you're going in the army? What what do you have? It, it, what kind of basic training is it? The same thing as the Marines? Well, must gonna be like the same. So right? theirs is very different. They they're they're not exactly trying to build like a super discipline like su- like superhuman like that's yeah, the, yeah. that's kind of the concept of the marine they right, want to they right. want to sculpt everyone to be the same individual right. the army is it's it's more lax like their their training regiment is a little different they just they're they're there's just more it's honestly less robotic if you right. know what i mean it, they and they got multitude of people so yes it, they have more like, people they it's it's much more lax. I wouldn't say lax, but they just they have more freedoms. Like they're allowed to use their cell phones at army boot camp. That would not be a thing <laughs> at Marine Corps. And even now, no more, no cell phones. Uh, never. Oh, no, they're no, never no, gonna no. let that. That'll soften you right up, right? Yeah. Uh, and so what about Navy SEALs and and, and all that? I mean, they, they have a different breed in, in the Green so Beret. So Navy and, SEALs, those guys <laughs> are in a. They're in the Special Forces community. So right. you have. You have your basic schools that you go to, and then you have BUDS, which is ba- it's called Basic Underwater uh, Demolition School. So their their training is just harder. That's what it is. It's just the level of training, what they learn, et cetera, et cetera. I, I can't dive too far into it because I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. out of seal. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done some research, and those guys are just re- they're smart. They're in shape. They're they're the whole package. You know what I'm saying? They're they're just they're looking for certain individuals, and if they send them in to get Bin Laden. When they, when, when it was yeah, those are the best of the best. Yeah, yeah. And we have a lot. We have a large community. The Marine Corps has their own special forces community. Yeah, I can Marsoc, imagine. Yeah. Uh, Air Force. Uh, who else? The Army. We all. Each branch has their special forces community, but those guys all go through specific schools for specific missions. You know. Didn't it, now you did so well at basic training and 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 at uh, Paris Island. Did they ever say, why don't you come back and? Uh, and be a drill sergeant. Uh, no, yeah. My drill instructors always said I should have done that, but I because you had the mentality for right. Because I was I was a good guy, you uh, know. Yeah, it's, yeah. And that's kind of the closest thing to yeah. doing that stuff. Right. And it, even though I succeeded at it, I just didn't enjoy it. You know, I I wait I, I, right, wait I liked out. shooting machine guns. I liked taking them apart and right. doing that gun monkey stuff is right. what they like to call did, it. Did so. they really want you to to stay? Uh, is it like you know, oh yeah they're absolutely constantly, absolutely they're constantly you're telling you get you know but uh well, it was four years three and a half four yeah. years four, it was uh, good enough for me yeah well it's an experience that not too many people i'm glad i did it though it was well think about it experience. well and, and even though you're at l3 harrison and they like to hire the military mm. and um we have colonels that work there right oh yeah mr kennedy uh, yeah. and uh and and there's so many others that uh, work at l3 harris um uh, and uh, which is good for you. They they like that military experience. Oh yeah, of and course. Thank you for, and I want to thank you also for your service. Uh, it's uh, you're, we're, we're almost ready to wrap up. Anything you'd like to say, or anyone you would like to say, <laughs> say hi to, or out there, and uh, I I would almost like some time to get a show with you and one of your buddies, because right. I I can only imagine the funny stories some of you guys can tell after. It just in the just in the boot camp. I can only imagine, <laughs> and I don't even know if you could even you'd even want to say it on the podcast, right? Because it, you know, it's it, I don't know. It can be a little much, but we 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 have some stories. I'll I'll, yeah. I'll get them together. I'll, I'll I'll figure out the buddy who I'm gonna bring first. Oh, wouldn't that be funny? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, good times. It, it was really good times. You you think about it now, and it's well, friends you'll have forever. Absolutely, <laughs> those are brothers. They're, I don't look at them as just friends. They're brothers. You know, <clears throat> forever. Mm-hmm. And some of your football players, uh, uh, comrades, and baseball, forever you will be. You see these guys of in, in 20, 30 years from now, and it's like, are you kidding me? And, you know, you get older together, and, you, and it's like, remember? remember yeah. Blah, 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 My blah. buddy that I competed with at shortstop in baseball, we competed right. against each other. One of the, yeah. He's my best friend to this day. It brings it out of you. At yeah. the same time, yeah, we were competing, but we were bringing the best out right. of each other while we were playing the sport. And 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 the, and, and the thing is, that's what it's about. Of course, it is. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you go back. I know it was with, with me with martial arts. 
I would go back to train every day, well, my, my whole life, because I wanted to be with my friends. Mm -hmm. I loved them. I had more fun. And all right, I'm not missing out on this. Uh, I, and now you're, you're learning, you're training, yeah. but you're with your friends, you're having a ball, and, and, and you all have your inside jokes and you're, you're, you're tight. You, you can't get any tight at <laughs> that. Never mind walking around, you're walking around high school and all your friends are all sports. Those are your buddies. Yeah. It's a, a nice group seriously, of guys. You seriously, seriously. And um, yeah, I, <laughs> and it's funny, years go by. And, and they go by really quick, believe me. You can see it, you can see it now. I know, I know, already 27. <sighs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna say what I am. Joe, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. It, it was a Appreciate pleasure it. and uh, we're gonna do it. We're, we'll have a couple of Absolutely. shows. Absolutely, I look forward to it. Yeah, yeah, and uh, see if we can get one of you. You got any close friends that live around the area uh, that you could possibly jump on a show down the road, maybe after the holidays, uh, a couple of months. Uh, yep. Yeah, talk to them, get some stories down, remember this, remember that. And, okay. And, and that's another part of, of all sports, all training, even when you're just training, the camaraderie, mm -hmm. your friend, your friends and friends. And, and as you're getting in shape, as you're learning, as you're getting your body developed, uh, you're having a ball with your buddy. You're busting his chops, he's busting Absolutely. your chops, and you just have so much fun. And it, it's not hard work. No. It's fun. It's yep. not hard work. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. Till next time. Yep, next time. Absolutely. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Till next time, have fun and train hard. <laughs>